I don't know. Sorry. He passed away this morning. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I tried to save you. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, son. Goodbye, Horace. Thank you, not even if it's a short time. I love you already. <laughs> no, Gekko doesn't get bad. Thank you, Laba. I just know you for a very short time. But I learned to love you, Nug. <laughs> if they didn't mess up my medicine. Last Thursday, I could have brought you so quick, Nug. I could have brought you. I tried to call all the bad locally blooming dude, but no one will accept you. <laughs> they wanted you to bring me you here. But it's too long for Mama to drive, Nug. <laughs> It's too long for Mama Lucy to try because of my chronic pain. I love you, Doug. Doreen, Dudum. Dudum, he came back. He was gone overnight. And I was not sleeping because my medicine was not there. And when I came, and now, you know, in the morning, he still didn't come back. So. I'm worried he died somewhere. So, you know, like, uh, later on, 12.30 or 1 o'clock, I looked for him again, and I saw him, you know, walking to the gravel road towards our house, about 200 meters away from our house. And he was walking slowly because he was very dehydrated and very sickly, but I grabbed him. And he decided to bring him here, but we arrived at 10 already. <laughs> if there was a bet to accept him, perhaps he would be saved so quickly. Because he was fine until, you know, <laughs> this past two days, three days. Love you, Dodo. Love you, Dodo Horace. Love you, son. I miss you, Randy. And the doctor wanted to eat today. So when, he called, when I talked to him this morning, he said, no. I wanted him to come home. But he didn't make it. He passed away at 9.30 in the morning. But I thank him. Me and Mama loves this cat. Even though, you know, he just keeps coming to us shortly. We need to go. Let's go to Dunga. Let's go home. Let's go where you belong. So that we can bury you tomorrow. We will give you a good burial nap. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's go home, Dodo. And let's go home, okay? I love you, sir. Me two months to tame him because he was a wild. 
in a very strong wildcat in you know two months after I started hitting uh, black you know he allowed me to pet him because he got a big wound I wanted to take him to the bed but I, I, I tried to trap him in a you know pet taxi but he, he fought so hard he kicked it and using his nose and his hands and he got bloody nose and hands so I also wanted black beauty uh, to be fixed but of all my cats only black you know that I haven't fixed yet because he keep fighting and uh, when he got out you know last year around March when mama opened it you know opened the door he's very wise so like I don't want black to get out could you imagine if you know black got out oh my god he will you know he beat the orange but the orange the father of orange one was stronger so you know like uh it's Black uh, was limping for four months, three months, I think. He was limping so hard, you know. And uh, he, I was able to to trap him for five months. That's the longest. Normally, one month and two months, but that time, you know, like it was a total of no. That was this year, I think. This year, yeah, or maybe last. Year. Yeah, he got out again. He got out last year once, and he got out again another time. So that's his fourth out. So when Black got out in this little orange, you know, he's, this one is a very young son. He's one year old with two months. You know, he, he is very, very, uh, what is it? He's very skinny. In a very handsome young boy so it's so hard to you know to not to love him he's lovable that's why I love him so much you know me and mama we have this heart of you know we have a big heart for the animals that's why we feed you know all the animals that come to our house the raccoons have a party because we have lots of leftover food in the raccoons, the possum, the opossum, even the squirrels and the, you know, the chipmunk. And last year there was a groundhog at our house. So anyway, I think that's it. I think we're going now to Bloomington. So we're going home now for, for this boy. You know, I wish I visited him a lot yesterday because he was still alive yesterday. You know, I brought him an independent. I brought three cats already. And, you know, like, they are all stray first. It was baby Tiki. She was three months old. That was, you know, when I adopted her in the backyard. And she died almost seven years, you know, that seven years old she passed away and baby Mira only lasted eight months old I adopted him when he was one month old he was a stray he was found along the road by a brother's neighbor and he gave him to me so Mira got a coronavirus huh 